Welcome back to this guy's garage. Let's give you a warm welcome back. Today we're going to put together the engine that came out of my Mustang, and there it is. There it's on. The, it was on the cover of Popular Hot Rod. So how did a knucklehead from Cape Breton end up with a motor that competed at Engine Masters and uh, was on the cover of Popular Hot Rod? Fortunately for me, the Coyote 5 liter engine came along and nobody wanted it. Anyways, I had some problems that were of my own uh, making and some that weren't. So the engine was taken out of the car about five or six years ago and I just got fed up with it. Now's the time. Put it back together and uh, I hope you enjoy this episode of that guy's garage featuring my father-in-law putting together my engine master's popular hot rod engine this guy's garage like and subscribe You go with both homes or just the one? Mm -hmm. What grid is, what grid is that one? I think that's a true turn one. So you learned this from the School of Hard Knocks? Pretty much. We were the first to find the work. We did an engine on a, an old guy's job in there. 361 or 391. Must have been in an old fort. Fort, yeah. So we're cleaning now. This is clean. We're putting the ring. Putting the ring squeeze around one of the pistons. Put her in the hole and I had her there like that and come down and she came and hit there. Well, there was blood squirting everywhere. Talk about having your blood, sweat, and tears in an engine. Oh, I fast now. The blood was so holding out of her. I wrapped a rag around it and, and then we <coughs> didn't go home. No, you worked. You, you finished. <laughs> Uh, you finished your shift. I sat down for until I stopped passing out. And get back at her again. Put more pistons to her. Yeah. No. How long did you get the job finished? I got the job done. Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad spot. You want me to push that? No. What was the first motor you ever built? 59 Monarch. 430 Cuber. That's a big engine. Mm -hmm. It was a wicked engine. Man, oh man, the power to that. Lots Actually, I stroked it. Did you? Didn't know it. <laughs> I took, uh, there was a Ford 30 and a 383 Mercury in the Monarch engines. Really? Uh, yeah. Jesus, I never heard of them. No, they're a huge engine, man. Big. That's that's like in like trucks. 58, no, 58, 59 Monarchs. Yeah. Big to big boats. Yeah, big boats. Yeah. <laughs> they're a huge car. Yeah. Same as a Netto. Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. I didn't think they had big inch engines. 
Oranın Türkiye yok şeyleri. Ne? I'm not the smarter ones that you get three. But the crank went on the four thirty ones. So I took the one out of the three three and stuck four thirty in it. Thought I was doing good. Thought it was the same thing, but it wasn't. No compression. Oh, way too much. Compression. Way too much compression. Way too much. So, the old car is moving around with the rope on it. Drag her till she starts. She she was a hot rod then. Then it's automatic. She had the front pump in that with the or the rear pump that would start the engine. Eh? Would engage the engine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can. So I'm going to roll. Right, well, I'm going to take the engine apart again. Well, your, it was your first engine. Mm-hmm. She busted everything when I uh, she was that high compression. Lessons learned the hard way. Yeah. You can never forget. I was only even a kid then. I was only seven or eight years old. Eh? Things were cheap back then. Was it a car you bought or was it? No, it was the old man's car. What you end up doing with it? Well, I took it apart. And I uh, fixed the engine up. Put it back together again. The thing would melt the tires off of it. That's the fruits Eat of your labor. Eat. I was just going around gathering tires. <laughs> Snow tire didn't matter what it was because you back out in the road dropping crop in the air. She wouldn't we'll let her eat. Started it off with it and not move. You cleaned up us, sorry, Brian. Yep. Top secret, and it has a set of one-off camshafts in it that he they were so proprietary proprietary because of this engine master's things that he wouldn't even tell me the lift and duration on it. I actually had, had to get the lift and duration from the hot rod article here. So I had to take his word for it when I was buying it, but, uh, Imagine. all zeros. He wouldn't even tell me when I was on the phone. I had You're to take his kidding. word. I had to take his word for it. The little bit of information I do have on cam specs from these cams are so uh, ground grown from cams. Or they're special grind cams. Yeah, they're one. They're oh. two one of one of sets. Uh-huh. These are the ones that were out in the garage, is it? Yeah. Holy shit! You think they're getting rust on you? Especially in my garage. Oh. Just starting. Well, that one's rusty. Not the polish still. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't let them any longer. They've been uh... screwed. I there's a little bit of information in the Hot Rod magazine article. All right. That one's got a lot more duration than than this game has. You can tell just by looking at them. Yeah. yeah. That's quite a fair... Yeah. See how much rounder they are? Yeah. Longer. We're going to keep the valve open a lot longer. I don't know. This is accurate. You, you have a... Whatchamacallit? A dial indicator will probably get you a little closer, but... Yeah. At least you know how much. Look at these. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah. So when the wind was seized up in the time, eh? The back one wasn't so bad and the front one wasn't so bad. It was all the rest of them that were taking the strain. Because the can was pushing this way all the time. Yes. And I replaced, look at this one. That one, that one I, I can't pull all these toes, so... 
two I replaced in the other ones already. So I'll throw it right there in the bench. They, they got them all cut out here, right? Okay. Yeah, if you got put one of these against that one, you see it right out the back. It wants to be cut out of it. Oh, see all yeah. that's missing, eh? Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no I'm sorry. See, this would come down and, uh, right now, I'm showing it right away. Yes, this is here. Yeah, this is all cut out. Oh, well, that. Yeah, you can really. You can see it there, right? Yeah, you can really see it there. Smaller lift, more duration. Smaller lift, more duration. Lift, but the other one is less lift, yeah. longer duration. It makes more power? It makes more power. In the 509. Yeah. So the short block's all together, Bernie? Yeah. Yeah, we just gotta clean up some more pieces. Yeah. The heads are all cleaned up, all cleaned up. I'll have to change that one for sure. Getting through nothing with that one. Too much stuff stuck to that one. Whatever the hell ran to you. Go So, what do they have done there to make them solid? Don't know. If you want to stick it apart, somehow. A lot of clearance between the cam and uh, and because uh, you can rock these underneath the cam. The hydraulic, you wouldn't have that issue because no, because it would be up against the cam. That the lobe is not down on. Yeah, there's lots of clearance and 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 the ones that are. Uh, There was one that I put on, and I noticed that uh, there was more one rock, eh? Yeah. So uh, I had to. Uh, they didn't cut it enough. They didn't go in into the inside. They didn't go in here with it. They didn't okay. Cut here. They left it off, off there, and that was still digging in into the top of the valve. That 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 head is the worst one. Okay. Actually, this one's still chopping. No, see that one right there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what's going on. Oh yeah, you around. can see. Yeah, she's just nicking the valve. Yeah. I right, bet you. Nicking. See, you can't rock that. No, yeah. that won't rock. They didn't go in far enough. See that right there? Yeah. That's got to go in further. Yes. They didn't take enough off. And now all it does is uh, putting filings to everything, eh? So that's where the metal's coming from. Mm hmm. This one here too. This one's touching, but some of the ones on the other, the other, uh, the other one, oh, real bad. So these are all right, all these ones. But on the other head, yeah, that's real bad. You had a look at some of them. Oh Jesus, yeah, no, uh -huh. the keeper is that the right? Yeah, look at that, see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They didn't, they didn't cut that enough, eh? Yeah. And that wouldn't rock like that. Well, then you're taking a chance on that. The the, key, the locks down inside could yeah. come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one back here. I think that last one, that this one here, I think <coughs> it's got two big rows in it. I was beating it that fast. So I just took it to the grinder and grind the, mm -hmm. the edge of them off, eh? Probably should have took this all apart and checked it before I uh, put it in the first time. So as far as uh, them, them camshafts are degreeable, so you just have to degree the cams when, when we put it in. Yeah. The, the, the degree procedures there. Is it? Yeah. And the degree procedures. Okay. We'll have to read that. Okay. So now we just wait for the cam or the head gaskets and 
get her all back together, I guess. So she's honed out, she's got the pistons. New cam shafts. There you go. So that must be the only uh, spot that uh, the cams ha have most of the valves closed. Yeah. Yes. So, what, are, what do you want me to bring it up to? I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Engine Master's Popular Hot Rod Rebuild. So now will be a great time to hit that subscribe button because we're going to get this engine going. And I don't know of any other YouTube channels that have an Engine Master's engine. Getting ready to fire up in the next couple of weeks. You want to hear what this thing sounds like? As bad as I want to hear it running again? Hit that subscribe button right now. You can watch another video right here. And the subscribe button will be right there. Till the next time. This guy, Abe. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe.